What makes this display really unique is that it is BenQ first PD display that includes a hardware calibration capability. And you would use Palette Master Ultimate to run the calibration on this. But what makes this even more unique is that on this display now, there is a built-in colorimeter and you can do auto calibration on this. But most importantly, in this particular display, there is another feature and that feature is called auto calibration. I mentioned, right, this is BenQ first display with a built-in colorimeter. So you can pretty much run these display in a big lab for a creative studio, a school, or a computer lab, whatever that may be. And you can use the DMS along with the networking to pretty much go in and program the calibration, saying calibration at 1 a.m. every night so that every morning when everyone comes in, the color is always good. So you can definitely do that. And do note that you need to have the display on for at least 30 minutes. And if not, it won't start the calibration. It will ask you like, hey, when the 30 minute hits, do you want to start the calibration? And this is AutoCal. You don't even need to use PMU for this one. So I have gone in and removed this and tell it to only calibrate Adobe RGB, but you can tell they pretty much calibrate all the different color modes that you want, including the user mode that you would calibrate, for example, with Palette Master Ultimate PMU. There is a light sensor on top of the display and that has to do with the new uniformity that they have implemented on this panel, which is an upgrade from the uniformity that have come before on the PD and SW line. So there are two new uniformity modes on this display and this gives the users a little bit more room in terms of, do you want to prioritize brightness or do you want to prioritize uniformity? Now for most creative workflow, especially for photo and video, I would tell you to go in and specify the brightness between 80 to 120 nits, which is a good thing. 